Hey folks, welcome back! Um, so today we'll do a little review video. I bought these two cheap refractor scopes from AliExpress recently. This is a 80mm 600mm scope. This here is 70mm on 500mm. Um, for this one, a little bit bigger one, I paid like a hundred dollars including shipping and including some accessories. The smaller one here was um, about seventy dollars including shipping and accessories. And yeah, let's let me show you the results. I'm pretty happy actually. So this photo I took with the bigger scope, the 80 600 millimeters. This is from a brand called Sky Optist. I'll put the website down below. Um, pretty decent, I have to say. This scope has really good build quality. This is some a plus that this here has. The focuser is amazing, really good quality. Um, you get a proper dovetail adapter, like a metal one. Um, yeah, it's pretty decent. The only thing I don't like about this scope is it gives me a bit too much of chromatic aberration. You, you see, the, the, the especially around the brighter stars, the stars turn into blobs a bit, like they tear themselves apart. That's not so nice. That's something actually the smaller, cheaper one does better, astonishingly. But still, I mean, this is a great beginner scope. This is totally worth a hundred dollars. I will go for this if this is what you're looking for. Um, yeah, nice result. I like it. The smaller one here has a lot of mechanical issues going on, so you will have to do some DIY stuff on this if, if you buy yourself this one. It's also kind of a no-name brand. It's maybe a bit difficult to find. I'll, I'll show you a screenshot here. If you look, click at this actual photo thing, th this is the way you could identify it. Also, I'll show it here from a bit closer up, just that you can see. It has this a bit weird texture, fake white carbon thingy. Yeah, it's this year. Um, I, I hope they produce them with the same lenses. I can't guarantee that you get exactly the same scope like I have. It's AliExpress, so you know you should know how the game works. However, I'm really happy with the lens quality of this one. There's some things we have to improve. I will show you uh, later. Um, yeah, but I have to say for this little amount of money, if you're really on a budget and you're looking for something like this, these, this could be, these are good options for you, I would say. So let's take a closer look. Okay, let's do some DIY stuff. Well, in general, the, the bigger one, the 8600, honestly, I don't want to touch it. I, I don't see anything that I can mechanically improve. It's really build quality is fine. The only thing that really annoys me a little bit is the, the chromatic aberration thing that this telescope does, which almost all cheap refractors will do. It's nothing out of the ordinary for this price cr class of telescopes. And it's not that bad, I've seen worse. This is a good beginner scope. If you're, if you're not so handy, you just want a cheap refractor to get started, to get your first steps in, in deep sky astral photo photography, this is a good choice. Why not? Like, go for this one. It's, it's fine. Um, even here, the focuser, I think you can see it here. Now it's fully extended to the maximum. It doesn't move at all. This is really cool. I mean, most cheap, even like intermediate telescopes, the focuser will be one of the main issues. It's These are always ma made cheap and they wiggle and yeah, that. I mean, this is the small one. This we will take apart and we will do some stuff with it. Just to compare, like this here is now also fully extended. This moves a lot. It's like f almost five millimeters on top. It's not good, you know. Um, yeah, you see what I mean. I think this is something we can improve easily, uh, maybe I'll just put some, I have like aluminium tape, I want to make the tube a bit wider, that it's a bit more tight, you know, inside the mount, that could be enough already. However, I want to remove the focuser now, because there's a problem on the inside that I want to show you. I'm not sure if it helps to do what I'm uh, doing now, but we will see, we will find out. Stick with me. <laughs> Okay, I got it apart. Um, to show you some stuff, the paint in the tube is not the greatest. Again, this really has some 
build quality issues. And there's this weird aperture break here, you know, there, there's some kind of a foil in front of the lens with this artificially small hole. I don't like this. I'm not sure. But, well, first of all, I think it's too far up in the tube. It's it's pretty, like, pretty much like here. Uh, maybe this makes sense, but deeper in the tube. So maybe I'll remove it. Maybe I'll just move it back. Not sure yet. Also, I want to remove this and replace it with a proper... I have, like, this holder clip for the, the guide scope. Um, yeah, so much for the tube. Um, Focuser-wise... This here actually, a good friend of mine uh, told me this to take a look. The inside of, you know, the, well, I also just took this here off. I'll maybe use some sandpaper to open this here a little bit. This just goes here. Problem is the inside of this tube here is, is shiny. It's reflective. I think you can see it here. It's also just not painted. Even though it's plastic, it has some shiny paint, paint coat inside. So I will just try some acrylic matte black on the inside of the tube of course uh, keeping it away from the lens the other side of the tube looks okay though there is yeah, there is some reflections in the camera maybe I'll just paint the whole thing even though there is a little bit of black paint here yeah let's see if this helps and I really think this strange aperture break thing in here is wrong or it's too small or it's too far down in the tube. Maybe I think some of the coma we had was from this on the photo. Maybe this helps if I move it back. Let's see. I'll do the modifications and I hope for some clear skies and I'll let you know how things go. <laughs> so I got the aperture thingy out. I will put it back in but further back. There is, of, of course, some dust on the lens. Yeah, it's very obvious. I'll have to try to clean that. And I painted this thing here black inside. Paint is still wet. So, but also the sky is still cloudy. It doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, I'll let you know any updates. Well, I just realized another problem. Um, that I didn't notice before. The inside of this... Why is this white? Why would you do that? Oh... I mean, this is reflective. This could explain part of the like the coma that we have on the Orion picture, because I did use flat frames. I stacked in Deep Sky Stacker using dark frames, flat frames. I did the I did the stuff correct. Uh, this is a problem. I don't want this to be white. A uh, cheap solution. I'll just probably put some tape inside because I don't want to go <laughs> near the lens with the spray paint. Not a good idea. So I'll just put some black paint in here and we'll see if it helps yeah okay I got it back together this aperture break thingy is up quite a bit more the, the black tape is here uh, the focuser is back together too I sanded this out camera fits now put some black paint inside last thing is to reconnect it and take it for a ride um, I think we have some clear skies in an hour maybe I'm lucky and I can do this tonight that would be great Well, it's almost 2 o'clock at night, the cloud still didn't move. I'm ready to shoot though. Everything's set up. It's a cold late November night. And it's almost full moon still, so not the greatest conditions. And yeah, total cloud cover still. But I think I see a gap coming. I think I can align it, get ready. If I'm lucky I get an hour or two later, it should open up. Okay, it's like the next day, um, last night was difficult, there was like cloud cover most of the time, I got like 15 minutes of kinda clear skies, so this is my new test image with the, the cheaper smaller scope, and it's pretty decent, I'm happy, for the circumstances I'm very happy. We could solve the coma issues compared to the first test shot I did with this, I'll show you this again, now the newer one after the modifications. So I think the blackening of the focuser tube helped a lot. Probably also the, the tape in the front to cover the white part helped a lot. And I'm pretty sure moving this aperture thing back helped a lot too. I'm very happy, like this is ready to use now, almost, I would say. 
One issue I still have, I didn't change the foc or I didn't fix the focuser tube yet, it's still very wiggly. It was really difficult to, to focus this way. So actually I'm thinking to, to just replace the whole focuser. I, I ordered myself another one on AliExpress. I hope it's better, I don't know yet, but we'll see. Um, I got uh, the clip here for the guide scope on, which will help me in the future if I want to do this without the guiding. One last small thing I noticed is the dovetail adapter on this one. It's plastic. You get a camera thread, which is nice, but this here is a little bit too narrow for my AnyQ6 mount. So maybe I'll just put a little piece of wood or so on here just to make it able to stick. So those are the last modifications I want to do. But in general, I'm very happy with this one. This will be my new uh, travel scope. I also love to do like moonrise, moonset images with, with these kinds of scopes. You just can throw it in your backpack and go with the bicycle or on foot. It's really nice to, to be able to do that, that kind of photos again. But in general, I really want to use this for Deep Sky. Um, yeah, this, these are good test results. I'm very uh, optimistic. Um, well, yeah, I think that's it for this video. Like, if you're really on a budget and you're um, looking for something on AliExpress that yeah, that's cheap. This year, if you're handy, if you want to do some DIY stuff, why not? And also, like the, the Sky Optisk, this one here, pretty decent telescope. I'm very positive, like, um, yeah, I think it's worth the money. Let me know what you think. Um, let me uh, see some of your results, maybe, if you have the same scopes. Uh, in general, if you want to see my photography, my images, um, please check out my Instagram. That would make me very happy if you take a look there. There's loads of photos I took with many different telescopes there. Um, yeah, I think that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and see you next time. Bye.